What, are you trying to topple Goliath? The more of them we drag into the light, the more torches and pitchforks we're gonna see in response. You sure you want to compare your followers to a bunch of angry villagers? Yeah, well, no, man, but... The people are angry, and they should be. They're taking back what's hey, safe. Yeah, yeah. Just make sure you're pointing them at the right monsters. Right? Anyway, you get to go inside Titus and play with the robots. Oh, shit. When was this decided, man? Well, we did rock, scissors, and dynamite. Yeah, but I wasn't even there. No, but if it was a tie, you win. Wrench did paper, I did dynamite. dynamite. Well, it's a regional thing. It's, it, technically, they cancel each other out. Okay, so. It sounds, sounds fair. And I sent him into one of the Titus warehouses. Now, he's got the delicate job of reading the fucking manual. <laughs> then you are gonna go to the front door, get the model numbers, and send back to him for the default codes. I will be nearby looking at blueprints and power plants. Yo, let's do it. All right, yeah. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Cool. My turn. Where we are going, that gun's Dude, not in. going to help. I need to figure you out where it. I'm taking it. You're looking for the security hub nearby. Blueprints show it's a EMP protected by a Faraday cage. So it's not going to work unless you stick JR all the way in there. There's a shot of pain in my... <laughs> no! Not that kind of dirty. Not back! Got to get my bearings! <laughs> Look for a switch box. There's I gotta be one somewhere. if I can go on. Just off to one side.
All right, Junior's in place. Everybody oh, say night, heart. night to Junior. Kill it! It has no heart! Hey. The EMP work like a charm, Ray. Yep. Call me pleasantly surprised. You had doubts? I always have doubts. But I also have an excellent poker face in me. Every goddamn day. I need some help here! Base to control. Be on alert. Possible targets near your location. Do a sweep. Alright, I'm on my way to the server room. You should be able to walk right up to the database server now. Well, except for all the alarms. Alright, I'm on my way to the server room. You should be able to walk right up to the database server now. Well, except for all the alarms, lasers, and guys with guns. Oh, that easy, huh? Thanks. Careful. 
All right, Ray, send it something your way. Oh, yeah. That's definitely something. You know, this is gonna take some time to parse. You should be close to a private lift in the CEO's office. My blueprint doesn't show where it goes, which means it's exactly what we're looking for. Come on, people, we got an intruder. Control, we have a possible target in your area. Damn, will you look at this place? She even got her own private elevator. Marcus, first impressions on the data you sent me. Looks like Titus has the 10-year plan brewing in some kind of prototype lab. Aye, let's see what they're keeping in sub-level 6. And smash the shit out of it. What Wrench means is find and record evidence that Titus is up to something naughty. Well, if you want to get technical, sure. All right, I'm in a nuclear bunker slash parking garage. You got anything else on the prototype labs? Only that there's one thick-ass iron door in your way. No idea what's behind it if you get through. When I get through. One of our long-term goals for Titus Robots is to construct armor capable of withstanding the strongest ballistic attacks in a combat scenario. In domestic security situations, these new models will easily be able to withstand small projectile attacks, Molotov cocktails, and other improvised riot weaponry. Within the next two years, Titus will begin field testing assault and defense capabilities of our robots for use in both domestic and military situations. Featuring reliable accuracy and superior reflexes, our robots will provide safer alternatives to soldiers or security personnel. Current Titus Watcher robots have limited offensive capability. We plan to fit them for a much more active role in conflict zones over the next several years. We are currently testing damage resistance within urban suppression contexts. We are also in negotiations with Galilei to build walkers for their space program. People, I've recorded all kinds of ridiculous robotic shit down here. Here, you're not gonna believe it. Anything usable for the video? Titus and Bloom plan to put CTOS functionality into armed robots and use them against civilians. How does that sound? Yeah, all too familiar. What does that mean? Feeding big data through war machines was a wet dream of some of the blue concept grunts when we first were designing the CTOS. I made sure it got the veto back then. That's why you've been so involved with this one. Yeah. Yeah, I have my suspicions. And now we've got the proof to burn them. Head on out. Not done here yet. More to see. I'll be in touch. Guys. Guys, I can't even. Where'd you find? <laughs> I can't even. 
Oh! <sighs> Man, why does he get to play with all the toys? System online. Alright, I think I got this beast all figured out. Just gotta get it through these security doors. Any ideas? Listen, if you knock out the fire suppression system, the doors should open as a failsafe. I can do that. function loss. and function loss.
That did it. Heading to the prototypes now. We've got a problem. Looks like the door to the backup servers is still closed. I'm on it. Knock the fuck out of the prototype. 90% portion loss. Counting on you, buddy. More systems hop. Function loss. Got it. The door is now open. There should be an elevator. You'll need to find your way up to the backup server room on sub-level 3. Who needs elevators? Make sure you smash the shit out of everything. Ninety percent function loss. Core systems comp. Seventy-five percent function loss. Fifty percent function loss. Way above my pay grade. Good, good luck. 